Welcome back to my R&D project and today I am coming to you from my home computer because my school computer was not cooperating recently so I've been doing some work here because that's how easy it is I can just work here from my house on this project so it's it's very convenient to do that with uh, computers and very easy and convenient yeah so anyways, um, I have uh, worked on the puzzle portion, continue work on, work on the puzzle portion of our game. And so now we have a working, a working form of our first puzzle, which if we click play here, you can see that it, the music will start playing. And we can click, and the puzzle is to try and get all of these to line up to be the same thing. So if I were to click here, they would all line up, and it would finish the puzzle. And basically, it just, if you click, the ones around it will also go up. So you have to try and solve it by making them all be at the same, the same spot. And so if we make them at the same spot, you can see it will load back into our main the main part of our game where the person is running through the levels and so yes the puzzle portion of our game does work and if we run for a long enough long enough time we will in fact oop I got hit there <laughs> we will we will see the puzzle portion of our game show up and once you complete the first puzzle the game will get harder so right now it thinks I've completed a puzzle and it will start to get really hard here so uh, yeah so we've um, we've got that going now that the puzzle is all all complete let me just get far enough so that you can see can see the puzzle pop up and uh, yeah, so yes, here now the puzzle has popped up, and we have to solve the puzzle to continue playing the game. But we're gonna we're gonna close that down for now because we do not need to. I've already demonstrated that, and so if we go over here to my code, we have um, we have an integer that is asking for what piece of the puzzle this is. But also, in order for them to be able to compare with each other and see and see which which piece the other one's at, so so like they can check, oh, if this one's at one and this one's at four, or if they're all at one, they can they can say, okay, we're done doing the puzzle. So they all have a static variable, which basically means it is like unchanged throughout throughout the program. So it is just this so normally all the all the different the different uh, sprites have their own their own normal variable but static variables stay the same throughout the whole program so if it changes changes somewhere it also changes in that other place static variables are also very easy to access from from other other scripts that i have but I do not need to be accessing them from other scripts. And so we, if we scroll down, we can see uh, here in my start function, it is setting these pieces to to random random numbers so that so that they can have a random generated start. And yes, that means that. Some it is possible that sometimes they will start already, already all the same number, and if we if we have time later on we can change it so that if they are all equal to each other, uh, a few of them will change. Um, and then here in the uh, update function, it is checking or it is constantly uh, changing the the puzzle the picture of the puzzle to look like what number it is so it's just like it's changing the animation to the number of the um, 
oh goodness um it is changing it is change like these variables they have a number describing which <clears throat> which point it should be at and it is constantly constantly setting it to that point if if you get what i'm saying and then down here we have the actual it's checking if the mouse is on top of the of the um of the piece and then it is and then it is then checking to see if the mouse is clicked and then if the mouse is clicked we can see piece 1 will change both itself and piece 2 because it is changing piece 2 which is right next to it and if we scroll down it does all of those like like how it described it changes those around it and so that is that is about it for my R&D update thank you so much for watching